Okay. I just seen a video of a young man, that the young black boy that they were selling water. Y'all know, everybody done seen it. I know everybody done seen it. It's all viral right now. You know, I was watching it. I seen a little picture, the steel shot. Somebody had a regular picture. I ain't never seen a video before till just now. I just saw it. And how they were choking him, you know, in the picture. But then I looked, watched the video, and I'm like, Are you for real? I couldn't even get that angry. I couldn't. Not because I was mad at the little boy, but y'all would, he stopped me from getting angry. So I, as I, I started, I, was, I started talking. So I, I calmed down. And that's when he started, I feel his anger. He said, I'm tired. I'm tired. He said, I'm going to kill them that provoke me to anger. Okay, he told me to speak by permission. Um, I speak unto you as a prophet of God, but I'm letting you know. He told me, um, or I was watching a video. He said, I'm going to kill the police. And I hear him say, in other words, like he's telling me to, to explain it to you. This, I love my relationship with the Lord because he helped me out a lot. Y'all book is dumb. That's why you're in trouble. He want me to explain it to you. Something getting ready to happen so bad. It's going to be all over the news. See, the police have the opportunity to be a true authority. I'm not the only true authority. I shouldn't be the only true authority that's spiritual. It should be natural true authorities. I encourage you all to read the book by Watchman Nee. He's dead now, years ago. The Chinese guy called uh, Spiritual Authority. I studied the book and I caught a revelation of my identity, who I was in Christ. True authority. Everybody that's subject to God, he said, let every soul be subject to the higher powers. He that resists the power or resists the ordinance of God. He said, the powers that be are ordained of God. And he that resists the, the power resists the ordinance of God. And he that resists the ordinance shall receive to themselves judgment or damnation in some certain versions of the Bible. So whatever's rebellious that does, that does not like authority is a rebellious authority themselves because they try to go off and create their own authority, meaning they are above the law. Now, anything that's above being humble is about to be abased, about to be brought low. That's scripture. The Bible says, um, he that humbles himself shall be exalted. He that, that exalts himself shall be brought low, shall be abased, mean humbled. God going to humble you if you don't humble yourself. That's a word for y'all that got pride out there. If you don't humble yourself, God going to humble you. When you had the opportunity to humble yourself, he said, die daily, kill your flesh. Okay, let's get past that. The police have the opportunity right now to make it right with y'all, but see, they're not making it right because of what God just told me. I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying to God that the, it don't it don't pop off because if it pop off, it ain't just going to be them police that's in trouble, but America going to be in trouble. America is going to be in trouble. You think I'm playing with you. See, the police have the opportunity. He said, the powers that be the powers, the, okay, let me explain to you what powers be. Street lights, stop signs, X, Y, Z, and the third.
okay, this is getting ready to happen. This is what the Lord said. This is what's going to happen. This is exactly what's going to happen. You're going to read about it. You're going to hear about it. It's going to scare you. There's going to be a police shooting. But the person they shoot is going to be a gang member. But the police ain't going to know it's a gang member. And that person won't die. He said he's going to send, God said he's going to send gang members, those gang members of that person across the, across the United States. Across the country to go to one specific spot, a city, Sacramento, California. And they're going to, and they're going to judge the police. They're going to destroy them. And it's going to be a national emergency. I feel the power of God right now. I just tapped in just now. Y'all pray for the police. Please pray for the police. Police, pray for yourself. Get yourself in church. Stop being hard-headed. Stop being stupid. Stop being Billy Bad Behinds. Stop trying to show up to people's cars and want to kill. Please stop, man. If you don't fear the same stuff you're giving the folk, Okay, the Lord told me to give you an example that's going to haunt you. When the last time you ate? You ate something? It was good, wasn't it? You filled your belly up real good. Your bellies were filled. You ate. Now, we know in, in anatomy, in chemistry, it takes four hours for your food to digest. No, is that true? Yeah, four hours. Take one hour for beer to go through your system, but four hours for your, your food to digest in your system. And then you it comes out, you know, when you done ate and drank, it come out both ways, urine or feces. Okay, what am I saying? Every time you eat something, remember that what you ate going to come back out, you're behind. You feel me? You're going you're to take a dump. So every time you get through eating and you go use the bathroom, remember these words. You think about wanting to kill somebody. When you sit down to eat, remember what's going to come out later on. What goes up comes down. The world, as we hear about it, calls it karma. But it's it's no such thing as karma. That's what, that's what the Holy Ghost just told me. There's no such thing as karma. They stole that from the Bible. All things were made by him, and there was not anything that was made, anything that was made that was not made by him. John chapter 1, verse 1. Okay. Everything is from the Bible. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. And the same was in the beginning with God. Both, both the same were in the beginning with God. And it was not anything that was made that was, that was not made by Him. God made everything. He made good, He made evil. He killed, and He made alive. Police, you breathing right now because of God. But you're going to die because of God. The seeds you sown. You sowed some seeds. Some of y'all police officers stay in some rural areas where farmers live at. You're not getting away because it's all in your face. You plant a seed. Your wife got a garden. God finna start reminding you. He finna remind you of the stuff that you're doing just by the, 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 the chemistry that's around you. The elements, the, the earth. Since you can't receive nothing spiritual, he gonna show you who he is. God is getting ready to make the news. And so am I. It is going to be so bad. Guess who's going to call me? I want to meet the president, but will he meet me? And now to breaking news tonight. Police say three people have been shot in a neighborhood just off Highway 99 in South Sacramento. ABC 10's Kevin John is there live tonight. Kevin, bring us up to speed. Tell us exactly where is this happening? 
Yes, Chris. Well, we're right off of 42nd Avenue and MLK. This is in South Sacramento. And what we know at this time is shortly after 6 p.m., police were dispatched to the scene after receiving phone calls of gunfire in the area. We do know there were three people shot, two females and one male. The Both the females are currently being treated in the hospital right now for their injuries. Unfortunately, the male did succumb to his injuries and was pronounced dead. Just so you guys can kind of get an idea on exactly what the scene is behind me, you can see several evidence marks markers down there in the middle of the street. It is still an active scene. Um, I was told that there was at least 20 rounds that were fired. I had a chance to catch up with Tess Dieterlein from the Sac Sheriff Department, and this is what she had to say about what transpired this evening. No motive at this time, um, unknown who a target is, if there was a, a potential target or if that target was hit or, or anything like that. What we do know now is just that we received those several calls and that we have those three victims, one of which is deceased. So at this time, we have no information on those suspects. Detectives will be interviewing witnesses in the area to see if they saw anything. And of course, if anybody knows anything about this or saw anything, police are encouraging you to call the department.